Hello, the goal of this video is to show how you can uh, fill this hole in your mesh. So if you have something like that, uh, it's pretty fast. But first, before using the tool, you need to change in the mesh menu the parameter and criteria files. So if I go to parameter on my side, I know that the mesh size is about 1. So I can put 1 and select the element types that I want. Okay, and I can do the same in criteria, put 1, and as this uh, box is checked, the values are calculated automatically. Then you need to go to elements, all gap fill, and use the patch fill. You have different uh, kind of uh, entities that you can select, but on my side I want to keep the edges one. I click on the button, select the edges with a box. As you can see, we have orange lines. That means they are been selected. They have been selected. Okay. You can define in which component you want the element. So on my side, for example, I want the adjacent component because it's uh, it will be on this component of this element. And don't forget to click the remesh. We want to remesh the, uh, the, the mesh that we will create thanks to the parameter and criteria files that we have filled up before. And I just need to get fill and everything is OK. And if I go to validate to check if everything is connected, you will see it, it is the case. You can select and find it is. So on my part is a little bit bigger, that's why you have this kind of line, but you can see everything is connected. That's it. Thanks.